Hi, I'm Jacob Israel. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm here with DFL nominee for House District 5A, John Purcell. Mr. Purcell, thank you very much for coming on. Thank you, Jacob. Nice to be here. Uh, how are you? How are you doing today? With the, we're recording this um, a week and a day before Election Day. So you know, with about eight days to go, mm. uh, you know, how, how are you feeling? Um, feeling pretty good, staying plenty busy, and um, like everybody else, counting down the hours till till this election right. cycle is behind us. Okay, okay. Um, could you please tell me what is at stake for the students of Bemidji State University with this election? Well, I, it, it's certainly an important election. I, I've uh, been through a few election cycles, uh, both as a candidate for state representative and I've served four terms but uh, previous to that as well I can remember a lot of uh, elections and this is as important as any that I recall just because I think that uh, the, um, the core of our uh, democratic values is at stake and uh, we have an opportunity to make a statement as uh, as citizens, uh, that we support our constitution and and uh, we support everybody having opportunities. Uh, that's what our country is all about. Okay, you uh, before the interview, we were talking about how you previously served in the legislature, and for a while you were the whip. Could you please um, explain, you know, what what that exactly entailed and what you accomplished as whip? Well, sure, and and. Uh, I, I did serve four terms, so in their two-year term, so eight years. And in, uh, in my experience in the legislature, um, I served two years in majority, two in the minority, two in the majority, two in the minority. So it alternated like that. In 2013-14, we were in the majority, and I, that was my third term in the legislature. And my uh, House Democrat caucus saw fit to elect me as the uh, majority whip. and. Uh, as uh, mean as that might sound to some folks, it, it, it really meant that I was talking to all my fellow legislators, both Democrat and Republican. And um, anyway, the outcome was we, we had a pretty good, uh, 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 gay marriage was legalized during that time frame, as you may recall. And, uh, but, but perhaps more importantly, or as important um, for me anyway, um, of the legislation that was passed into law, uh, signed into law, 93% of it was bipartisan. And I spent a lot of time talking to Republicans, uh, as much probably or maybe more than, uh, than I did with my Democrat colleagues, uh, just to learn what I could and uh, to try and uh, help them understand where, where I was coming from. So. Um, that was a, an, a, an important experience in my uh, political life and my life in general. All right, that sounds really wonderful and amazing. What issues are you running on in this election? What is most important to you this year? And, and certainly several things, but the, the, the top two that I've talked about and, and how we can apply common sense for the common good, uh, uh, affordable health care for all Minnesotans, and, and that can be accomplished. There's plenty of money in that in the healthcare equation. We just have to get it directed uh, to where it's going to provide the most benefit for uh, for all Minnesotans, uh, and, and that's it. Like I say, it's doable. Um, and uh, the, the other is education in general, and uh, early childhood through uh, through our university education. Um, we need to make sure that we have funding there. I'm committed to doing what I can, the best I can, to, to keep the debt that students in college are incurring now to, to, to minimize that as much as possible. I think that's outrageous and we don't need to have it. Uh, Minnesota used to fund uh, student education uh, to, to the tune of two-thirds of the tuition. I want to get back to that level. All right. Well, you know, thank you very much for coming on. Is there anything you'd like to say before we go? I, you know, just uh, thank you for this opportunity, and I would say to the uh, anybody listening and students in particular, um, this is important. Get out and vote. Uh, our democracy needs you. So, 
Vote November 6th. Thanks. All right, that was uh, Democratic Farmer Labor Party nominee for State Senate, uh, State House, rather, District 5A, John Purcell. Mr. Purcell, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thanks again, Jacob.